Hello, my name's Frank Sands. Welcome to My Boxing Coach. Um, how do drills relate to our training and our performance? Um, this video's packed full of stuff. There's a lot going on in here. You're going to get six drills um, where we learn to execute power hooks off slips and off rolls. So you're combining offense and defense. And I even stumble through a round on the heavy bag. Um, so there's a lot going on in here. There's a lot for you to take away from this. Before we get going, um, why don't you download your book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit, join the thousands of others who've downloaded this free ebook. Um, in there, you get all kinds of stuff, 64 pages. You learn about mindset, about training regime, build the power and the speed elements of your training, 10 core skills, um, how to make, get the most out of your shadow boxing, how to get the most out of your heavy bag work. There's a lot in there. It's something you'll refer back to for years to come. Okay, um, so here's a video about some drills on um, combining hooks or using slips and rolls as a defensive mechanism, but a platform for offensive work. Have a look at this. Combining slips, rolls and punches to give you some really effective close and mid-range um, fighting ability. We're going to do three rounds, two minutes each round. And in each round, we're just going to layer on some additional skills. This is not terribly complicated, but it does take a bit of concentration. Okay, round number one, two minute rounds. For the first minute of the round, in our boxing stance, lying on the floor goes from the toe to the heel, so we don't want our foot coming across here. We don't want to square up too much. But from there, arms nice and relaxed. Elbows tucked in. We're going to do a slip inside. So I'm going to slip inside any coming uh, pun, a jab coming at me if you were an orthodox. So to push off the back leg, you can see my hips just rotate. So it's one, and that takes my head off the centre line. There. Okay, so we don't lean. We don't do this, where we drop our hands as we're doing our slips. There. There. Nice rotation. The slip out then goes that way. So from there, push off the front leg, hips rotate, takes my head off the centre line. Yeah, that's designed to shots coming this way. As they're coming towards, you can slip out, shot goes past your ear there. If you slip that way, go there, shot goes past your ear there. Um, so there's your two slips. Slip in, slip out. And then you've got your roll inside. So if I'm going to roll inside, so I'm going to go round and come back to there, inside any shot. The first action is an outside slip. So it's one, and then our legs help us come round and back to the start position. So you've got one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, we don't want to do this. All right, that's not a roll. That's just swinging your waist to avoid a punch, which is okay, fair enough, that's fine. But we want to do things under control. And then to roll outside, first action, slip in, and then again use the legs to roll, come back around and come up to the top. You've got one, two, one, two. Roll inside, one, two. One, two. So there's your four skills that we're going to do in round one. And for the first minute, it's just slip in, slip in, slip out, slip in, slip out. And then for the second minute, it's roll inside, roll outside. What you got is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Whole round. And then you have 30 seconds rest. So your legs have gone through a bit there, but you're helping to really reinforce the actions of those slips and rolls. Second thing then, let's start adding some punches. 
So that uh, lead hand hook from there, push off the front leg, hips rotate, and goes over there. You can also do there, that's a hook. But when people are closer to you, likewise with the backhand hook, more energy in this one, more um, mechanics. So push off the back leg, hips go round. So it's there, there. Lead hand, one, backhand, two. One, two, one, two. And don't, you know, you don't swing all the way round. You don't need to. Keep it controlled. First minute of the round. Slip in, hook. Slip out, hook. Slip in, hook. Slip out, hook. One minute. Slip in, hook, slip out, hook. Second minute. A little bit close. Second minute. Roll in. Hook. Roll out. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So that roll, the slip, and the roll there, when we slip inside, we store energy here. That gives us good energy to fire a strong hook. Same on the other side. Same with the roll inside. Same with the roll outside. So we're putting energy, transferring the transfer of our body weight onto, onto the, this leg without leaning forward. Allows us to get extra power in the punches. Then we come to the last round where we actually start tying things together. So the first sequence for minute number one. Slip out, right hook, left hook, roll, left hook, right hook. So what you've got is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Very quick explanation. We slip out. We do a right hook, stored energy, left hook, roll with that punch. So let the momentum of the punch help you with your roll. Come back with a left hook, right hook, finish. Right? Is your sequence for minute number one. Minute number two then is pretty similar. One, two, three, four, five. Slip in, left hook, right hook, roll, right hook, left hook. So you got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I messed up myself. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah? So very quickly running through both of them. Slip out, right hook, left hook, roll, left hook, right hook. Slip in, left hook, right hook, roll, right hook, left hook. Not a bad sequence, that one. So you can see how we've built up complexity throughout the rounds. Three two-minute rounds. Slips, rolls and hooks. Right, slow and steady repetition. Um, it really pays off. Um, now, here's the funny thing. Don't feel the need to be involved or engaged in a full training session to be doing drills like that. I have something called kettle time boxing. As someone from England, I drink lots of tea. So whenever the kettle's boiling, um, I still do it, you know, at the age of coming up to 50 this year. Um, I will still move around, do drills and shadow boxing around the kitchen. Um, it's a bit of an odd thing to do, but it's a fantastic thing to do for all kinds of reasons. You build the muscle memory. Okay, so you're talking about two minutes for a kettle to boil. Two minutes. However, any two minutes here and there that you have, fill it with drills. So you get all the muscle memory so you build that familiarity with the moves with the 
with the positions and with the form. Um, but also, if, you, if you're training just to keep your weight under control, that type of stuff, most of our calories are burned just staying alive. So doing lots of little activities like that, it's the same principle as taking the stairs rather than the elevator, you know, it, it's that same principle. So it really pays off, you know, in all, in all kinds of ways. So then we take those drills and we want to now work on shadow boxing or, or heavy bag work. So how does it relate? Have a look at this section of a video with, with me on the heavy bag. I want you to take particular note of, uh, of the non-punching contact with the, with the heavy bag. Um, look at what's going on with forearm, shoulder, elbow. Just have a little look at that and there's there's a bit of a i do a bit of a, a talk over this so you'll, you'll get some pointers on the way through have, have a look at this just starting off with some simple jabs but again slipping off the jab little roll after the left hook always nice to roll after your left hook it, it, it's just that momentum there you go jab slip now the thing about slipping when you're up close makes it really difficult for, for an opponent to target you with headshots, you know, uppercuts specifically. So there we go, doubling up with the hook and again building that roll. Okay, so look at that non-punching contact with the bag. So banging the shoulder in and the forearm and pushing the bag away. A little pivot round. So, and, and the interesting thing here is, look, we, we do our drills but we don't go into the background and be robotic about doing our drills. Much of what you see in here is all relevant. You see the slips, all relevant for the work that we did in our drill work. Um, you know, probably about 60% of, of what's going on here is um, based upon the drills that, we, that we've worked. Um, and again, we're starting to build up the, the work rate, non-punching contact with the bag. Drive them shots from the feet, don't don't make them arm shots. Slips at long range, again just make yourself a difficult target. Push the bag off. Hook round. Slips. There we go. Head off the centre line. Slip, slip, slip. And bring that hook in afterwards. Trickling up on the shots, one, two, three, straight after each other. Slip out with the backhand hook then as well. Um, so you, you're looking to just make the round more natural, but much of what we've done in our in our drill, again, forearm, elbow, the bag away. Ooh, up cut, yeah, getting pretty flashy now. Um, slipping in, hooks, hooks, hooks. Keep it going, make the round natural. Non punching contact with the bag, push the bag off. A little backhand, after you've done that backhand, a little slip inside, and again. So I'm having to concentrate here, I want to keep that slip and work going because I want to be a difficult target. Trying to really work that backhand hook in now, building up the power. There we go, end of story. Right, there we go. So look, there was a there was quite a lot in that round, but probably, I don't know, 60% of what was going on in that round were based upon the drills. So we were using our slips, we were using our rolls, we were, you know, combining the, the flow of the roll to give us extra momentum and leverage to, to really deliver those hooks. And you can do counter flow as well. Um, but the principle is, you know, run, don't try and run before we can walk. And the drills are a great way of building that walk mentality. Uh, slow and steady. And of course, when you're on the bag work, when you're on the, 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 the shadow boxing, those little things where you can push the bag away, for example, with your, with your elbow to give yourself room to, to punch, they all help to make the round more natural, to, to give you more... Um, um, give you more of a realistic experience on the heavy bag. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget, download your book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. That's something you will not regret. You'll really enjoy the content in that. Otherwise, my name's Franz Sands, and this is my boxing coach.